right, Mario, why did you want to take this official here? Well, because Florida State, they've been talking to me since, like, you know, they the first Power 5 team to offer me, and they kind of just been keeping their relationship throughout. The same relationship is better every time I come here. You've been here a bunch, so when you came for the official, what did you want to see? What did you want to learn about that maybe you just hadn't had the opportunity to learn previously? Well, I wanted to learn a little bit more about academics and just the uh, campus and college town, like the college field of the outside of football aspect of it. And that's what they've been telling me about. You know, I've got getting to see a lot, and I appreciate everything that they did so far. What did you see from the game yesterday or the office line, anything like that? O line did pretty good. You know, I've seen a lot of uh, key players. I know a lot of key players are out and stuff. But the main thing was, you know, even though they were down 17-0, they kept fighting. And, like, that's what they kind of did with my recruiting. They saw me commit to Michigan State, but they still kept fighting. So that's what I like to see about Florida State. You're okay. What do you think of, like, the atmosphere of Doak? Oh, a little the atmosphere. You know, it's better every time I come. You know, it's a little bit lesser right now because they're getting the uh, stadium fixed and everything, but I just I know for a fact that they will come with the atmosphere. Yeah, you, you said that a lot of this official visit was yeah. things outside of football, you know, the town and everything else. Did, did you find what you were looking for when you came on this official visit in that aspect? Yes, yeah, sir. They uh, kind of presented everything like that that I've been looking for, you know, the missing pieces to Florida State, so I've got everything that I've been looking for. Yeah, no. You've obviously been around this program when they were pretty high, 13-0 and 0 last year. You're around it right now when they're 1-5. Yeah. and five. How much do you pay attention to results in real time? How, what, can you say that again? How much do you pay attention to results when, well, they're, when they're doing well versus right now when they're like obviously they're really, struggling? It, in football, there's a lot of ups and downs. You know, your team ain't going to go undefeated every year. They're not going to – but it's just how you handle it and how you come up after, like, losing stuff. Because I play football. My high school, we'll just – one and nine, but this year we're undefeated with six oh now. So it's not about what the lows or anything, it's about who you wanna you know, why you're down, who you wanna do that with, like who you wanna be down with, somebody that's gonna give up or somebody that's gonna keep fighting and just build up. You're obviously committed to Mississippi State. You took a visit here. Is there anybody else involved in it beyond those two schools? Well, yes sir, old Miss still teaches me a lot and I really like them. What's your plan between now and early December for early signing period in regards to making a final decision? Well, really just, you know, just sticking it out, just seeing my best, what's my best option and just going with it. Do you think Florida ha Florida State has an opportunity to potentially flip you away from Mississippi State or where does your commitment kind of stand with the Bulldogs at this time? Yes, sir, they do. You know, I still like Florida State. I committed to Mississippi State because it was the best school for me at the time. So, but at the same time, like my recruitment still open. When you, when you see that Mississippi struggling and stuff, and it's like early playing time and like mm -hmm. the idea of anybody going to it early, does that kind of pop out to you? Yes, it does. I know I have to uh, work for everything I do, but at the same time, you know, I see, like, Coach tell me all the time, like, I can play earlier because they need of like, you know, O-linemen, so I feel like it's a, a lot to do with it. Where does Coach Atkins want to line you up at? Um, I'm not really everywhere, anywhere I can play, wherever I'm best at, tackle, guard, and center. Talking about Coach Adkins, what's that relationship kind of been like? You say that still text you a bunch, but yes, what was his message to you today on top of that? Man, Coach Adkins, like me and his relationship, we, we, you know, we cool. Like since day one, since they first offered me, me, him, Coach Matilda, we always stay in contact. And he always tells me just like, when if he, um, if he likes me, even if I'm hurt, anything like that, he, like he gonna still take care of me. And all, on and off the field, made me become a better man. Do you have a timeline in mind for making your final decision? Uh, no, sir, I don't.